So we're going to go ahead and put 169 in all three of these boxes. Boxes, excuse me. All right, yep, that worked. Okay, uh, oh, and it already filled the ellipses in the water automatically. Okay, I think that looks close enough uh, to the picture on the right. So let's move on. Okay, write your own function. Time to practice writing functions of your own. This is a very simple game in which coins fall from the sky and the bunny tries to catch them. All you need to do is write the function that sets up the coin. Do this. Read and run the code that already exists to make sure you know how it works. Write the code for the set coin function to make the coin fall from the sky. Okay, so let's take a look. We got a set coin function, there's a score, there's a bunny. If you press left, the bunny goes left. If you press right, it goes right. If coin Y is greater than 400, so if the coin falls down here, they're going to reset the coin up at the top. Uh, text score. This is score. This looks like a different scoreboard, so that's something to note. Okay, so they want us to write the code for set coin to make the, co the coin fall from the sky. You can look at some of the previous levels if you need help. I think all you need to do is make coin dot or coin dot velocity y a negative number or a positive number, so it's falling. Let's see. And I think uh, we also want we also want a random location. So all right, let's first do coin dot velocity y. Uh, let's make it a random number. Uh, let's say three and or three and fifteen. And if bunny touches coin, we want it to reset. Do we do that if in an if block in here? Yeah, I think so. I think we're going to do this in the set coin function. I think. Let's give it a try. And if I'm wrong, that's fine. If bunny is touching coin, uh, let's say uh, we we probably want coin dot x and coin dot y. But first, let's do coin dot y. We want it to be up here. So let's say negative fifty. Coin dot y is negative fifty. Uh, and coin dot x. Let's make it a random number between zero and four hundred. Try and think about why I'm saying putting it a random number between zero and four hundred. It's because we don't want it to fall, or we don't want it to always start in the middle. We want it to be at a random number. So let's see what this error is. Is touching of undefined. Uh, let's switch and see if that's the problem. Nope. Okay. Um, hmm. Okay, set coin is called there. Okay. Okay, so the purpose of this level, level 9, is just for you to get the coin to uh, start falling. So I did get that done, and I want you to look at my function right here. Okay, so all I did was coin.velocity y, random number between 3 and 15. Coin.y is negative 50, so it starts above the screen. Coin.x is a random number between 0 and 400, so it starts anywhere between the left and right side of the screen. We don't need the bunny to start collecting coins yet because we're going to do that on level 10. So catch the coin, increase the score. Let's make that score change now, too, to complete the game. You'll need to be able to tell when the bunny is touching the coin and then reset it. Do this. Use an if statement and the is touching block to increase the score when the bunny catches the coin. Make, sh make sure you're calling your function to reset the coin once it's been caught. 
Play the game and randomize the velocity of the coin to a range that you think is fun. Well, I'm pretty sure I already did that. So the question is, where is the if statement? I feel like it, it didn't work in my set coin function. So do I just do it in the in the uh, draw loop? I know that will help. I know that will work. Um, let's let's try it. If bunny is touching coin, we're going to make score equals score plus one. Yeah, I don't think I can do it in there. Maybe I should try it one more time. Ah, uh, okay, so this, we need to call the set coin function in here too. Okay, and now I think I'm getting it. Set coin. All right. Yeah, okay. All right, it works now. Okay, excellent. So it is okay that I put that in the draw loop, I'm pretty sure, this if statement. Okay, it's in the draw function. All right. Change the background with the score. Once you've got caught 10 coins, it's time to celebrate. You should change the background to be something fun. Do this. Use an if statement and two separate functions to, call, to draw your backgrounds. Then go write your functions outside your draw loop. You get to decide what a simple or crazy background is. R. Have fun with it. Okay, so they want us to create some backgrounds. So where do we start? This is similar to the level with the, uh, the sun over the ocean and the moon over the ocean. So we got to create functions like this, simple background, crazy background. So let's do that down here at the bottom. And we're not going to do anything very complex right now. Just for the sake of the video, I'm going to keep it simple. Simple background. Make sure your spelling is correct. Crazy background okay so drawing background simple background let's make it yellow crazy background let's make it red okay uh, do we want any shapes let's let's add a couple shapes All right. Fill. Let's get a fill so the shapes have some color. Yellow. And that's a yellow background, so we'll make it red. Okay, so now we need to call these. Uh, I believe we'll want to call these inside the draw loop. So here's our draw loop. And we're going to make an if statement just like this. It's an if-else statement. So we'll say if score is less than 10, and we're going to call our functions here. If score is less than 10, simple background. If score is great else, if score is greater than 10, we're going to do crazy background. All right, let's make sure this works. Okay, so this is supposedly the simple background. Oh God, I'm not getting any coins. So now we're going to run it. Jeez, I'm never going to get to 10. 
All right, you know what? For the sake of this video, let's make it four. So if my score gets to four, the background should change. One, two, three, and here comes four. Nice, it changed, awesome. All right, well done, folks. Now do some reinforcing. Read this, okay? It will help you understand what is going on. And if there are lesson extras, there are not. All right, well done.